I'm Nicole Frilich. Welcome to the show. The International Court of Justice in The Hague has begun hearing a claim by Nicaragua that Germany is, quote, facilitating the commission of genocide in the Gaza Strip. Nicaragua is arguing that Germany is breaching international law by supplying arms and other aid to Israel for its military campaign in Gaza. It wants the court to order Berlin to halt exports. Germany has rejected Nicaragua's accusations and Israel has also repeatedly denied committing genocide or war crimes in its response to Hamas October 7th terrorist attacks. We can now listen in to what the Nicaraguan ambassador to the Netherlands and the lead of Nicaragua's delegation at the court had to say. In the present case, Nicaragua is invoking the responsibility of Germany in connection with the genocide committed by Israel and also the responsibility of Germany for the violations of its own obligations under the Genocide Convention and of the violations by Germany of its own obligations under international humanitarian law. Germany is failing to honor its own obligation to prevent genocide or to ensure respect of international humanitarian law. We can now take a closer look with our correspondents. Lucia Schulten is at the ICJ in The Hague, and our chief political editor, Michaela Kufner, joins us from Berlin. Good to see you both. Uh, let's start with you, Lucia. What's Nicaragua's argument here, and what would they want the court to do? Yeah, so Nicaragua is saying that Germany is facilitating acts of genocide and we have just heard from Nicaragua that Germany must be well aware of what is going on and that it must be well aware that there is at least a serious risk of uh, committing the alleged genocide. Um, this case is brought by Nicaragua in order to get at this stage provisional measures. With these provisional measures, it, it goes against uh, weapon deliveries mainly, but also other kind of um, helping acts that Germany is, according to Nicaragua, giving to Israel. And also it wants Germany to start funding UNRWA again. So these are the two main points that Nicaragua has. has. And um, these provisional measures are aimed to, to uh, grant these. Um, what is important to say is that there is at this stage still a case pending here at the International Court on the question whether Israel is indeed committing a genocide or not. It is a case that South Africa brought. And um, this is very important also for the course of the proceedings and um, because it's not quite clear how this would develop and how this will develop for Germany. Mm -hmm. At this stage, it's only about the so-called provisional measures. Yeah, and it could be years until we have a ruling in that other case. Uh, Michaela, over to you now. How is all of uh, this, uh, I mean, very, very serious accusations being received in Germany, especially by the government? Well, Germany rejects this, and I think it's important to remind ourselves that nothing that is being discussed or decided in that court will come fast enough to have an impact on what we're currently seeing unfold. Um, so... Germany says that as a signatory to the Geneva Convention, essentially that's the laws that govern how warfare can be done and how civilians need to be protected within that context, uh, that Germany sees a duty to remind all sides, that's what the foreign minister says, to adhere to their obligations and uh, Germany also flatly rejects the very notion that it was um, helping in any form uh, conduct a genocide, a genocide that also was not determined to actually be taking place in January mm. by the international court where these very proceedings are currently happening. So there's a lot of legal arguing here, but the bottom line is that this is political. You are seeing a country from the so-called global south really question um, how serious uh, Germany in this case, the West is in sticking to international rules. Germany itself insists on everybody must adhere to. Mm -hmm. Lucia, what can you tell us about why Nicaragua felt compelled to pursue legal action against Germany? Yeah, there's quite some speculation around this. And of course, we can't look into Nicaragua's head. But what we what the speculation says is that Nicaragua is doing this to divert from itself because there has just been a report that there is very serious by the UN that there's very serious breaches of humanitarian law in Nicaragua. Others are saying that Nicaragua is doing this as a political campaign, um, that they're doing this to instrumentalize the court behind me um, as a political tool or that it would lead to attention to Nicaragua. 
Nicaragua. What we know uh, is that the Sandinista movement has strong ties to the Palestinians back from the days of the Sandinista revolution in 1979. So there is a certain connection uh, between the Palestinians and um, the, the current government. And also, what is also clear is that Germany is a strong ally of Israel, has been very vocal about this on the international stage, and that it is possible for Nicaragua to bring Germany to the ICJ because both of these countries have accepted a compulsory jurisdiction of the ICJ, which, for example, Germ uh, which, for example the United States have not done. Michaela, it's early days, of course. This is the first hearing. What would happen if the ICJ really ended up ruling in Nicaragua's favor? This is really a very remote possibility. It mm. simply is not on the cards at this very moment in time. That would be a condemnation of Germany, of the West, um, and it would essentially legally prove uh, that uh, a country like Germany was saying the one thing and actually doing the other. But this is not backed up by facts or any kind of legal argument. I must also add that the security of Israel is a fundamental principle uh, of German policy making. And increasingly, you are hearing voices here behind closed doors that that could mean criticizing Israel even more than in the past, as we're also seeing the United States do. And there's no question, um, we also saw uh, the Human Rights Committee, highly criticized uh, by Israel, now calling for an end to arms deliveries. Even the United States is not willing to do this. But if the US was willing to stop uh, deliveries, that's when we would also see debate here in Germany about stopping um, support in terms of military terms for Israel. Michaela Kufner in Berlin and Lucia Schulten in The Hague. Thank you both.